Genesis 32, verse 1. Esau comes to meet Jacob. So Jacob went on his way, and the angels of God met him. When Jacob saw them, he said, This is God's camp. And he called the name of that place Mahanaim. And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, in the land of Seir, the country of Edom. And he commanded them, saying, Speak thus to my lord Esau. Thus your servant Jacob says, I have dwelt with Laban, and stay there until now. I have oxen, donkeys, flocks, and male and female servants. And I have sent to tell my lord that I may think, find favor in your sight. And the messengers returned to Jacob, saying, We came to your brother Esau, and he also is coming to meet you. And four hundred men are with him. So Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed, and he divided the people that were with him, and the flocks and herds and camels, into two companies. And he said, If Esau comes to the one company and attacks it, then the other company, which is left, will escape. And Jacob said, O God of my father Abraham, and God of my father Isaac, the Lord who said to me, Return to your country and to your family, and I will deal well with you. I am not worthy of the least of all the mercies and of all the truth which you have shown your servant. For I crossed over this Jordan with my staff, and now I have become two companies. Deliver me, I pray, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, lest he come and attack me and the mother with the children. For you said, I will surely treat you well and make your descendants as the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered for multitude. So he lodged there that same night and took what came to his hand as a present for Esau, his brother, 200 female goats and 20 male goats, 200 ewes and 20 rams, 30 milk camels with their colts, 40 cows and 10 bulls, 20 female donkeys and 10 foals. Then he delivered them to the hand of his servants, every drove by itself, and said to his servants, Pass over before me, and put some distance between successive droves. And he commanded the first one, saying, When Esau, my brother, meets you and asks you, saying, To whom do you belong, and where are you going? Whose are these in front of you? Then you shall say, They are your servant Jacob's. It is a present sent to my lord Esau. And behold, he also is behind us. So he commanded the second, the third, and all who followed the droves, saying, In this manner you shall speak to Esau when you find him, and also say, Behold, your servant Jacob is behind us. For he said, I will appease him with a present that goes before me, and afterward I will see his face. Perhaps he will accept me. So the present went on, went on over before him, but he himself lodged that night in the camp.